Hi, I'm Emmy, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here or you clicked on this video from your recommended, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks. Get some Botox for content. Yeah, man, I'll just freeze my face for content and then never be able to make face expressions ever again, which is all that I do on other people's streams because I don't like talking. Who do you guys think is the coolest OTK member? And don't joke. Be serious for a second. Seer, Bruce, Schlatt, Pokimane. Okay, well, Pokimane isn't an OTK, but if she was, she probably would be the coolest. God, can you imagine if Pokey joined OTK? Actually, kind of can't, but that would be cool. I think Bruce is the coolest. He's too cool to even hang out with us. Understandable. No, it's Rich W. Campbell. I've got some rich fans in the chat. Can you imagine if Snuffy joined OTK? Bro, I would love that. Rich the Dump Truck Campbell. Okay, honestly, when I saw him doing that cop cosplay, I thought that it was fake. I thought that, like, they gave him some shit. Like some pads or something. I thought it was fake. <laughs> Rich is definitely the hottest girl on OTK. Alright, man. What about Asmund Gold? Butt implants. Bro, butt implants scare me because this a lot of you probably see this too. I saw this gif of this woman flipping her ass implants inside her ass. So like she flipped it and then like it was like flat but still inside, and then she flipped it back over. No? You guys haven't seen that? Okay, well, I'm not gonna show it, but I, I saw this this gif of a woman flipping her ass implant and it was horrifying. When I was in like high school, I always was like, oh, someday I, I feel like plastic surgery would be fun to get. And then I would see like botched plastic surgeries or shit like that. And then I was like, nope, nope, nope. But I, I'm glad that I didn't, honestly. I feel like everyone had a phase where they're like, plastic surgery seems so cool. You can like pick what you want to look like, but it's not like that at all. Bro, those people that get plastic surgery to look like celebrities are terrifying. No, just you? Really? I feel like most of my friends in high school would like were saying the same thing. Like, oh, that if I got plastic surgery, I would do this. I guess not. I guess all the people I knew were just weirdos. That's not normal. Well, shit. Your friends are nuts. Well... Half of the people I was friends with in high school were really cool for like high school standards, but then they just like started like doing cocaine and shit out of high school and I was like, goodbye, I'm gonna go play League of Legends. Does that make me more or less of a loser? <laughs> more classic Kansas high schooler. It's because it was so boring there. Everyone either just did drugs or played video games. Sounds boring. I mean, a lot of smaller Towns and cities are like that. Drugs are cheaper. I never spent money on League until uh, I started streaming it. I never bought a single skin for myself. I guess I was a girl, but I never asked for the skins, to be fair. Do not believe you at all. I just remember something so cringy. Oh my god. How have I never- t I just remember something so cringy. This is probably gonna become a recycled story. I don't know how I forgot about this. So... I've always been in, like, I usually have always played Jinx, Jin, and so Sona the most. Those are, like, my three favorite champions. Mostly Jin and Jinx, but I also really loved Sona for a long time. And Sona is one of the first characters who had a $40 skin come out, DJ Sona. And at the time, I was in this, like, online group that was a bunch of other League players in, like, the Kansas area. And I remember when that skin was going to come out. A bunch of guys who were way, way older than me were all saying like, oh, when that skin's out coming comes out, I'm gonna buy it for Emmy. And I thought they were all kidding, but someone literally bought it like when the patch got refreshed and then the other guys were mad at them. And I was like, okay, free skin, I guess. But yeah, I never, I never bought a skin in League until I started streaming it. Being a girl's- Bro, there are- I know some girls who have farmed so much stuff, like skins and games. It's crazy. And when I first started streaming, I remember I'd always get these Instagram DMs of people that were like, Hey, hey, Emaru. And I was like a 300 viewer streamer at the time. Like, I was just wondering when we're gonna play together because I bought you that CSGO, or I sent you that CSGO gun that you wanted. And I was like, 
I don't play CSGO and have never played CSGO in my life. There was someone, like, pretending to be me on CSGO to get, like, gun, gun and knife skins. <laughs> and I was, like, a small streamer, so no one, like, questioned it, or, I guess. But I got, like, six or seven DMs like that. <laughs> it's, it's kind of fricked. That <laughs> dude, it definitely was, like, a, like a 30-year-old guy. <laughs> and I don't know if this is true, but, um... I, I like don't know the value of like the knives and guns in that game. I know one of, one of my friends who did know CSGO said that one of the knives that um, someone sent was worth like $800. So I, I felt kind of bad, but it's like, <laughs> some are thousands. What's the most expensive CSGO knife? Like what's the most anyone's ever paid for a CSGO knife? Are there like statistics on this? $30,000? Millions. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of different numbers. Six figures, there's no way. Okay, but just because it's like listed as that much, what's the most anyone's like actually bought one for? Google it. True. I could have been doing that. What? Bro, this cannot be real. What? That can't be real. What? Okay, Dota Esports says this was- it was shared on TikTok. You would think it would link to the TikTok, but it just leads to their fucking hashtag. Thanks, Dota Esports. Really good journalism. Holy shit. Money laundering? Okay, that- that makes way more sense, actually. Scroll down? Wait, I missed it? Do you remember when we talked about the most expensive skin in CSGO? That it's now apparently worth a million dollars? I had a guy reach out to me who didn't but have- But worth doesn't mean people will buy it. Kinda, like really private. He's called Newbridge and he's held it for like four years or five years or something. He told me to reach out to him with an offer of 1.2 million in Bitcoin. And I'm not talking about USD, I'm talking about Euros, which converts to 1.5 million USD. One and a half million dollars. What did Newbridge say? The owner of this knife, he answered, hey, someone wants to offer $1.2 million in BTC. He told me to tell you. And then I realized it was euros. I realized it's it was euros. It's too was low. Not interested. 1.2 million is low. Then I asked him for a buyout. No reply. How? Wait, how, I don't understand the CSGO economy. How does this happen? Is it just like there's like, there's only one of one in the world? How? But wh why do they, why do they do that? Why does CSGO do that? They're like NFTs? Oh, rarity on pattern. Wait, so are CSGO knives and guns like generated? This, this sounds so stupid, but I genuinely don't know. Like, how can that happen? Yes, oh, randomly generated. That's actually cool, but M, do you want to hop in a call? Uh, no, that's okay. Thank you though. Yep, what's Tecton doing? This is so weird. <laughs> Tectone is literally. Is it a bad time to bring up a gambling sponsor oh, right now? Tectone is literally reacting to his stream. Wait, can I just leave it like this? <laughs> OTK content. Wait, what's what's Zach Rar doing? Oh God, he's on live stream fail too. Okay. Who, is anyone else live? What? Did Rich just go live? Okay, Rich is just playing WoW, but he has drama in his title. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> the new four way react. Like, this is like not a joke. <laughs> Jennifer will come back. Why are you guys so obsessed with Jennifer? I don't get it. Y'all like MILFs. Twitch chat in your, your silly little crushes and silly little obsessions with internet women. They're not even real. I'm not real. I'm a man. But those other girls, they're just not real at all. If you're still hungry, cutie has cake. I I want to go make a cake with cutie. I actually asked her about it. Do it? Yeah. It's also just because every time cutie's asked me to do something, it just like hasn't worked out. And I was like, I really got to do something with her. I've been talking about it for like nine months or some shit. What kind of cake would I fucking make though? I want to make some real like wacky shit. Amaru asking people to do stuff that's fake. I do ask people to do stuff. Just not that often. Peach's cake. She already did that. I saw it on her Twitter. A pink Kirby cake. 
feel like that's too obvious. I want to make like a weird- like I want to make one of those cakes that are shaped like something. You look like a penguin today, bruv. Do I? What does that mean? I don't look like a how do I look like a penguin? It means you're round. Am I fucking round to you? Is this a joke? Why is the jumper green and not pink? I hate this color. We can have colors besides pink on this stream, for fuck's sake. Bald spot? This is not a bald spot, bro. This is where my hair parts. It's not a bald spot. That's called my fucking scalp. I am not balding. I have very thick, full hair. Ugh. Molding about balding. I'm not the shit I click on in chat, bro. Dust, so much dust. It's goddamn dust city. Dusty boy, dusty boy. Who's a dusty boy? Me, me. All right. <clears throat> Why is he so dusty? <laughs> Dust, so much- Bro, I am not bald. With a thousand- It's not a thousand, it's 56! Ugh. I can't handle this anymore. You guys are making me mad and pissing me off. I'm going into the pile. Goodbye! Wait, I just remembered. I never showed you guys a dead body. You guys didn't see the dead body. You didn't see it. Go back. What, you guys fucking hate me or something? Guys, there is no dead body in the Kirby pile. There's not. Show your Steam library. Why do you want to see my Steam library? Huh? <laughs> she has Hootie Pop download. Okay, well that's a great Bejeweled alternative. It's like Bejeweled with strategy in it. H Hootie Pop Studio? Okay, well that's just a normal tycoon game. aren't even like that's not even like actual hentai so how are you gonna say that downloading hentai is weird why are you watching my stream 